In post-World War I literature, the Renault FT is frequently referenced as the FT-17. The French light tank FT-17, or something similar, was one of the most revolutionary and significant tank designs in history. The FT was the first manufacturing tank to integrate a completely rotating turret with its weaponry. The Société des Automobiles Renault Renault Automobile Company, one of France's main automobile manufacturers at the time and now, designed and manufactured the FT. It's conceivable that Louis Renault started working on the concept as early as December 21, 1915. The Renault FT crew compartment in the front, engine compartment in the back, and main armament in a spinning turret became, and still is, the standard tank layout. As a result, some armored warfare historians have dubbed the Renault FT the world's first modern tank. The Renault is powered by a 4.5-liter .5 four-cylinder thermosiphon water-cooled engine, engine oil pump, zenith carburetor with presets and magneto ignition. At 1,500 RPM, it produces 39 horsepower. It has a range of 37 miles and a top speed of 4.3 miles per hour. The Renault FT could navigate very steep hills without losing power since the engine was intended to run normally under any slant. The engine's radiator fan provided effective internal ventilation by drawing air through the front crew compartment of the tank and forcing it out through the back engine compartment. It's only 5 meters long and 1.74 meters wide. 2.14 meter is the height. The Renault FT is 6.5 tons in weight. Louis Renault himself set a reasonable weight restriction for the FT, stating that it could not surpass 7 tons. Louis Renault was skeptical that the factory engines available at the time could attain a sufficient power-to-weight ratio to provide sufficient mobility to the military's heavier tank variants. The crew is made up of two people, namely a commander and a driver. The engine's radiator fan offered ventilation for the crew's comfort. Despite their proximity, there was no mechanism for crew communication during operations. As a response, gunners invented a method of transmitting commands by kicking the driver in the shoulders, back and head. A Puto SA 1837mm cannon or a 7.92mm Hotchkiss machine gun were frequently used to arm the FT. The armor plates ranged in thickness from 6mm to 16mm. A cast steel turret with an observation cupola was featured on the Renault FT tank prototype. It was mounted independently in series vehicles. Renault also developed an octagonal riveted turret that passed all tests and entirely matched the client's specifications, with just minor modifications to the primary armament mounting bracket. The octagonal version was more resistant to fire than the cast steel version. At that time, the quality of roll plates was much higher than castings. The octagonal turret was constructed from 16mm thick boards, whereas the cast steel turret's armor thickness was 22mm. The Puto SA-18 gun, with a caliber of 37mm, was based on a naval gun. It possessed a telescopic sight, a semi-automatic lock, a recoil mechanism. It rested in revolving sockets on horizontal spigots and was positioned in a turret in a semicircular yoke. The barrel's elevation fluctuated from minus 20 to plus 35 degrees. Fragmentation and armor-piercing shells were fired from the main cannon. From a distance of 500 meters, an anti-tank missile could pierce 12mm thick armor. The rate of firing reached up to 10 rounds per minute over a sustained period of time. The maximum effective range was 2,500 meter, but in practice, it was only 400 meter. During the Third Battle of the Aisne, it made its first appearance on the battlefield on May 31, 1918, east of the Forest of Retz, east of Chatham, between Ploisy and Chazos. This engagement, which included 30 tanks, successfully stopped a German advance, although the vehicles ultimately withdrew due to a lack of infantry support. The tank could also be armed with a Hotchkiss MLE 1914 machine gun with a rate of fire of 600 shots per minute. The rifle was powered from a metal belt loader mounted on the side of the cartridge chamber. In total, 2,100 tanks armed in this way were produced. The ammunition supply for the main gun totaled 20 fragmentation shells, 25 anti-tank rounds, and 12 case shots. The machine gun onboard ammunition supplies totaled 96 cartridges and 50 clips. Ammunition was put on the sides and bottom of the combat compartment. The Renault was built for mobility, which garnered a road speed of 4.3 mph. Unlike larger armored vehicles, it can navigate forests and other tricky landscapes. The firepower of the tank 
was able to penetrate less than 12 mm thick armor. The maximum effective range was 2,500 meter, but in practice, it was only 400 meter. The octagonal turret was constructed from 16 mm thick boards, whereas the cast steel turret's armor thickness was 22 mm. Over 3,000 Renault FT tanks were manufactured by French industry, most of them during the year 1918. Check out the monster tank. The A7V Germany's first tank built in 1918 by the German Empire. Do smash the subscribe like and the share button, supporting independent creators like ourselves. Till then see you next week.